Welcome to the third part of Tesla's thermal management system with Octavalve and heat pump. If you haven't watched the earlier two parts, make sure you do that first. In this video, I will be exploring the remaining two heating modes and three cooling modes. So without further wasting time, let's untangle the remaining system. Eleventh mode is frost removal. The heat energy stored in the battery from the last drive is utilized to heat the cabin back to help remove the frost. Here how it's done. Twelfth is dehumidification and reheating. The cabin evaporator condenses the moist and the cabin condenser reheats the cabin. The excess heat which gets added due to the compressor is released in the atmosphere via LCC. Drive unit heat and the excess heat of compressor which is put in LCC is absorbed by the coolant and this all heat is given out in atmosphere. Here how it's done. Now let's get to the first cooling mode. This mode is used at the time of supercharging. Here the battery cooling is done and the cabin heating is done. Here how it works. Now let's see the second cooling mode. It is similar to the first, the only difference is the drive unit is warm in this mode and it also needs cooling. Here how it's done. In the earlier mode, the cooling of drive unit was not required, as at the time of supercharging, the drive unit means the motors inside are not warm. Now let's see the third cooling mode. In this mode, cooling of batteries, cooling of drive unit and cooling of cabin, all is required. Here how it's done.
heat from the cabin, battery and drive unit is absorbed and it is released in the atmosphere. It takes a lot of effort to make such content so make sure you subscribe our channel and share this video. If you like this video make sure to hit the like button and if having any question or comments feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now I'm signing off and see you guys in the next one.